I don't know if you guys remember me picking up this cabinet in a video quite a few months back, but I had always thought to myself, I want to use this somewhere. I thought I would hang it on a wall somewhere or find a table to set it on somewhere. And the other day I was in an antique store looking for like a bookshelf, a vintage bookshelf. And I thought to myself, why the heck don't I pop some legs on this piece? Ignore my cat. <laughs> Why don't I pop some legs on this piece and make it a bookshelf in that way? So I did remove my baker's rack here. Um, just with the holidays and people coming over, it just takes up a lot of space. So I put that in the garage for now and it feels so much better in here, I'm not even gonna lie. The piece definitely is big and a little bit overwhelming. So all of my ironstone is in my hutch now. And I even thought about putting this on the table, but also just ignore the mess going on, okay? We're in the process of decorating for Christmas. Um, but I don't think that this is sturdy enough. This is a heavy, heavy, substantial piece. So, I went to Lowe's and purchased some furniture legs, some brackets, and that is my plan for this. I'm gonna put some adorable little legs on it and I'm gonna make it a little shelf. That is the vision that I have going on in my head. I hope it comes out as cute as it is in my head. I have been dying to use this piece of furniture. It is so beautiful and primitive and vintage. And I think just with some white dishes displayed in here, it would look so cute. So that's what we got going on today. And this will be the final little touch in my dining room before I film my home tour. So I'm really excited to get started on this piece. And if you think I'm gonna get out of my pajamas to look decent for a DIY for you guys, this is not the channel for you because I am not getting changed and I'm gonna stay in my comfies to work on DIY projects. I don't know how I just lifted this onto my dining room table and my husband saw me picking this up and bringing it in from the garage on the ring doorbell and he's like I told you I would help you with that when you when I got home from work. I said Nick always remember I have a man, but I ain't ever gonna need a man, okay? Remember that, ladies. <laughs> so I shared the legs in that little clip and this is the hardware and I got these both from Lowe's. So if you look at the tag on furniture legs, at least at Lowe's, it literally will tell you it's super easy. Install with hardware A or B. Boom, hardware A, and that screws right onto your furniture piece as so. So I'm running into a little bit of an issue though because, I mean, this is an old piece. I didn't expect it to be perfect, but um, there is no like thick piece like here on the bottom here. So I can't put the leg here and here if I need it to work, they have to go on the inside here, which I think will look really weird. I want them to be over here more, you know? So I'm gonna try to think of a way, maybe I can do like a sheet of plywood or something across this whole bottom. So got to brainstorm. Okay, so after a little bit of brainstorming, I'm going to put the first one up in this top corner and then I want to put this bottom one here but there is this gap right here so we had some wooden shims in the garage I'm gonna try to use them to fill up the sorry fill up the space there so that it will sit perfectly and I think that will work yes I think that's gonna work I'll screw them in with our drill, got some drill bit, drill bits, and some screws to screw the shims in. So 
Don't ask me how I like know how to do all of this random stuff. It's just trial and error. And um, growing up without a dad, you just like learn to do things on your own. So that's why we never rely on a man. <laughs> So as you can see, I pulled the shims out of the package and there's a couple of them stacked here. And honestly, that was just perfect. It's gonna fit perfectly. I'm so excited. <laughs> This is with the doors open. The legs are, let me just shut these real quick. The legs are kind of a super stark white. However, I probably will pick up a little bit of like dark wax next time I'm at the hardware store just to age them a little bit. I feel like they are sticking out a little because of how white they are, but this cabinet is absolutely darling. I think it looks so great added some legs onto it and just gives it a little bit more character and I finally feel like I can use it as a cabinet and I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get to decorating this. Let me know if you guys enjoyed seeing this little furniture flip today. If I do end up adding some dark wax to it, I'll insert that footage before I upload it but even with the stark white legs, I am still loving this piece. So it is quite a few days later and I'm finally going to get around to decorating this piece. So we're going to fill it up with antique, thrifted, vintage treasures and I'm so excited to see how this all comes together. And a struggle of mine today is going to be finding something to fill this space. Um, I had that tall baker's rack here so it covered all of this area. So now I have this huge open space, but we will see how we work this out. 
So we're starting out with the top of this cabinet and I'm using this gorgeous galvanized plate rack. I picked this up from Amazon. I will link it down below. And then I'm just adding in these Federalist Ironstone plates. I actually have these listed on my website, genevievelin.com for sale, but for the time being, I do like them. So I'm using them on top of my little cabinet here. And if I do say so myself, I have been trying to find a way to style these butter paddles and I think that this looks so cute. I layered them with the plates and I think it's so much easier to see them in all of their glory. So if you collect butter paddles and you need a way to display them, these little galvanized racks are the perfect way to display these. I absolutely love collecting old bowls and I love to collect this style like old stoneware dough bowl. They're one of my favorite things to hunt for. So I took them off of the top of my corner cabinet and I'm displaying them in here. A couple videos back, I had gone to an estate sale and I got so many treasures for such a affordable price. And this glass canister was something that I picked up at the estate sale and it had this ribbon on it. I thought to myself, ooh, I could use that for Christmas. I had these bells from last year that I made a garland with. I rub and buffed them, made a garland, but we have cats this year, so I decided to cut all of the bells off of the garland and stick them in this jar instead of my cats knocking them down. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to reveal those Santa mugs that I just got at the Goodwill. I shared them in my Black Friday video. I had so many comments about them and you guys, look how amazing they turned out. I spray painted them with this leftover epoxy appliance spray paint. I will leave a link to it, but it gave them this like nice, hard, shiny coating and I am obsessed with them. They look so good.
I just found this pack of three gingerbread ornaments at Walmart the other day and I think they look so cute. They almost have that like primitive look to them which I think mixes in with this cabinet so well. I just tied them onto a string and I was able to hide the string behind the scallop detail on this and I just love the little Christmassy whimsical touch that these gingerbreads added to the cabinet. I was hunting for something to add to this wall and I can't even explain to you the excitement when I realized how perfectly this would work on the wall. I already had the screws up in drywall anchors and the netting on the back of this like old feeder is able to hang onto the wall so easily. I am so excited about this and then I'm just adding in some beautiful aprons onto the door and I can't wait to show you how everything turned out. 